<laughs> yeah, this is a note for me. Uh, this is a house fit for someone who's Maya size. It's like the Japanese homes, you know what I mean? Where I, I look at it and I immediately I feel claustrophobic. If me and Zoil were standing next to one another in the house, like we would just would not fit in the house. I'm saying it. Watch the tiny house tour scroll up. Maya tiny house tour. <laughs> What the fuck? Why did she get a tiny house? Here it comes. Wait, it's a big house. It's not tiny. It's huge. YouTube. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my tiny house. I'm in my pajamas. I'm going to do a tiny house tour. For those of you who don't know, I recently moved into a tiny house. We recently moved into a tiny house. And <gasps> I live at all day. That's so That's cute. And... I bought a tiny house, it's 390 square feet, and I have no water or septic or electricity yet, but I will. And when I have that, it's gonna be so sick, but right now, I basically just live in a really nice tent with my ferrets. And I'm gonna show you around. There's not a ton to it, but I love it. I'm the only person that, like, uh, take a step back from the, from, from participating in online discourse only to get more insane <laughs> and become a ferret lady living in a tent super super happy here i moved in here like a month ago and so far it's been great let me show you i was gonna walk outside but it's raining and i don't want to but these are my steps and then you walk in the door here's my dirty welcome mat and my okay to be at least at least the house is so far protecting her from the elements so that's good it's, and this is my living room cute it's only 390 square feet like i said but it's really tall so it feels really big don't mind the floor it's muddy because it's dirty it's wet outside yeah this is my living room very cozy comfy yay i have a tv it doesn't work because there's no electricity i have my my fancy table that opens i still have my guitar here i have my longboard here which like obviously i can't ride anywhere those are candles they're not beer can well they were beer can yeah maya is like four or five so everything is big for her you know and they're repurposed into candles he's a tiny cool. person henry so Lumba is here i have my blankets over here it's my couch for my apartment I have some fake florals the foxes are right over there and the rest of the sanctuary is down there those are feathers from birds at alveus mask headlamp umbrella station because i have to put on this headlamp if i have to pee in the middle of the night because i go to the nutrition house where there's a bathroom to pee but again it's kind of a rain that's insane like that's actually fucking that's insane dude what the fuck there's no bathroom in the house dude imagine you need to take a emergency poop like what the fuck yo nope nope i'm out on that one that's a nope for me gloomy. So it doesn't look that beautiful, but maybe I'll try to film some B-roll when it looks prettier and you can see it in like different kinds of light. That would be cool. This is my kitchen. Pretty cute. It's a lot of space. It takes up. It's kind of crazy that like portable homes like this that you can just like tow somewhere in the back of a trailer still have like this, you know, marble aesthetic. Like it does look good. It actually looks house, good. I'm stoked about because I cook all the time. This looks actually this, very I'm cool. Put up here. Um, but it's really heavy, so I haven't done that yet. The horse thing is gonna go above my TV. I have a full-length mirror over here. Sorry, my kitchen, air fryer, toaster, my cups, my matcha, that's not an ad, my potato bowl, onion bowl, cooking stuff. I painted this. It's, uh, whales in the sky. Skypea. This is my cups and bowls and plates. I have a microwave, I have a stove, I have my Tupperware in here for my meal prep stuff. There's a food cabinet, this is my Asian food cabinet. This is my white side food cabinet. I'm half Japanese, so I split it 50-50. I have little pumpkin decorations, I have my vitamins. Big, nice big sink, this is my water jug. Um, right now, I go down to the nut house and fill it up like once a day. This is the water for me and my ferrets. All my spices are here. My calendar's here. It's not filled out right now. Shopping list. 
weekly planner, again, not filled out. And that's the kitchen. <gasps> oh my gosh, I made this. I that's made myself a mosaic backsplash. Oh, I thought you, I mean, that's cute too. I thought she was going to say she made the fucking, the, this is how Maya says she goes to the bathroom. You know what sucks about me having to pee in this tiny house is if I want to pee properly. Why is this clip called no nose ring? God, y'all are perverts, okay? What the fuck? I have to either walk or drive all the way down to the nut house. Uh, so instead, I'm going to go take a piss outside, um, which I've been doing for the past three weeks. Uh, and you guys can watch Noodle and Georgie at the same time. Wow. Oh! Because she lost her nose ring. It was a whole ordeal. She thought it would close the hole. She lost it during the stream. The nut house, dude. You know what sucks about me having to pee? In the That's crazy to me. I don't know how the fuck. I thrifted a bunch of... Wait, how is she streaming, though? Like, that's what I don't understand. So there is electricity. Or is she streaming not from her house right now? At that Dishes. Point? Or does she have a generator? And I smashed them, and then I uh, glued them into designs. So I have a little praying mantis here. I still this have is to cute. grout it. Uh, right now, it's just on mosaic mesh and uh, tile glue. But I did it around this whole thing. Check this out. A bee... Monarch butterfly caterpillar, monarch butterfly, fire ant. These are all Texas bugs and pollinators. Except for that one. He's kind of random. It's just a beetle. But yeah, all thrifted dishes and thrifted glass. I'm really proud of this. Really beautiful. It took me like a, a full week, I think, of just like sitting and, and working on it. But I love it. I'm super happy with it. So that's that. Then you go down this hall. And here is my bathroom. Uh, it's really dim because there's no light. But I put up this wallpaper. And I have my towels and I have my moisturizer and my makeup stuff, my glasses, soap. This is some of my hair stuff. And well, this was my bath salt stuff, but now I don't. Yeah, this is a note for me. Uh, this is a house fit for someone who's Maya's size. But like, let's be real. This is a, yet another one of those instances where it's like, it's like the Japanese homes, you know what I mean? Where I, I look at it and I immediately I feel claustrophobic. Just by watching this video, I feel cla claustrophobic. Uh, this is the shower. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually a pretty nice size shower, but obviously it's not in use because there's no water. So now it's just like, oh my gosh. Now it's just like that. That mirror is going to go here. But I have yeah, this is the this. type of house where like if me and Zoil were standing next to one another in the house, like we would just would not fit in the house. I mean, it's, like, much better than, yeah, the shipping crate-style houses. But, like, is, some things are just not made for me, you know? This one off first, which is going to be a, a process. Oh, and then um, I have my, in here, girl things. And I put up a little shelf. Um, so all my stuff's in there. It's pretty nice. He's here. This is a washer-dryer hookup. So you have stacked washer dryer here that I haven't bought because it doesn't matter right now. This is storage space, little nook. Um, I have some craft stuff up here, craft stuff up here, and then cleaning stuff down here. And then this is my stream room. I'm not asking for a band, but how's being a one-man show for 10 years like? What if there was real East Coast places to move to and do a better job? I know you would. What? Like, are you saying I should quit what I'm doing and move to the East Coast and do a job? Like a real job instead? What? <laughs> he said, yo, bro, how about you quit your fucking fake job and, and then do a real job? You know what I mean? You fucking idiot. That's what he said to me. Or office tiny office don't mind this um this is right now uh i have an extension cord running from the barn because the ferrets live in here and so i wanted to bring a heater in because it is like 35 degrees in texas right now uh so it gets really cold in here because i don't have heat but this room is heated it really only heats this room but that's enough for the ferrets i built this cage for the ferrets out of one of my closets this is one of my that's closets sick. so it opens like where this, the fuck does she sleep and wait the house is done there's no bedroom 
Where is she sleeping? Wait, what? This is most of my, this is all my dresses uh, and jackets. I had to downsize a lot on my clothing. Um, all my shoes are, are down here as well. Just kind of stacked up my belts and stuff. Um, Bro, it's wild that she's living with a bunch of ferrets though. That is the dream. I mean, that's sick as fuck. That is the coolest part of this. The house coming with a bunch of ferrets that you can be best friends with is fucking fire, okay? They're so cute. They're so chill. I mean, that that truly, that truly turns this entire thing around for me, ultimately, is that, you know, this is, the, the vibes are always excellent there. They um, stink, though. I don't care. Yeah, this is, this is my closet at the moment. But I figured there's two closets. I could down closets. I could downsize even more and make one into my ferret cage because they really like having levels. So uh, I took the closet door, I cut it out. Um, I bought some hardware cloth, uh, nailed it to the back. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a sign, so I'm gonna write their names on this. But yeah, it just works like the other closet door slides. Uh, I put in these shelves and then put in ramps. Uh, with some traction and hinges, um, like that, so they can go up and down these ramps, and they have a hammock up here, their cleaning stuff goes up there, and they have this little house down there as well, and their litter boxes. Here's Mushroom. What do you think about the tiny house? Why am I in big trouble? Do you like it? <laughs> dude, look at that thing, dude. That thing... Especially with their like little tiny baby hands, dude. I mean, come on, that shit's awesome. They stink so bad. Oh, that kind of sucks. I didn't know that. Still, probably smells better than half a chat though. Especially those who don't subscribe at the top of the hour when there's a three minute ad break. A shower is what you need. But if you also want to avoid the ads at the top of the hour, a, a five dollar subscription is what you need. On top of that. Here's a three minute ad break now. Art to Freedom, thank you for the five, get the subs. Allowing five people okay. showers. He's got a staring problem. Um, stream setup? Uh, my camera's down at the studio right now, but PC, there's some storage under here. These are all my tools down there. Um, and then like extra lights, extra mics, extra cams, stuff like that. That's a trash can, my chair, my fidget here. And then I did a mini gallery wall on this side. I did these paintings. This is, I painted Bean a while ago, 2021. Uh, painted this in like 2019 or 2020. It's a golden eagle, just a lot more color. My dad took this picture. How do so many streamers get small setups that look so clean? Mine is a clusterfuck. Dude, mine is a clusterfuck too. I don't know how they I do it. I painted this. That's actually Bean um, from his release. This is me. Oh, fuck. I hit the wrong thing. I was going to reload for a new emote. I fucked it up. And yeah, that's the office. What is this? Ragey? Boys, rate the office. Hey. So anyway, that's that. Oh. Um, and then this is just extra. Here he is. This is an essential for my stream background. Ahoy, he lives here. Uh, and then I just have like storage drawers, you know, <coughs> some medical drawer, all that jazz. <coughs> this is so is cute, dude. Loft. Um, so. Yo! Special, special level unlocked. That's crazy. The house is so big while being so small that there's a whole ass another house in the house that you didn't even know about. That's crazy. Love to see it. I sleep up here. My bed. How is this a tiny house? I am just fucking desperately poor. Brother, if you can pull it on the back of a fucking trailer tractor and it's 390 square feet, like, can we just admit that that is, like, physically small? Like, that's crazy. Tractor trailer, whatever, I said it wrong. Her living room is 390. Oh, not the house, yeah. 
beds up there. Uh, and it's actually a pretty big space, and this is my ladder. So I climb up here, and this is where I sleep. That's crazy. It's a king size mattress because this loft goes all the way back. It's huge, which is sick. That's dude, what the fuck, How, dude? What? What if you get up like and slam you just slam your head on the roof? First of all, I wouldn't even fit on that laying down. Okay, I didn't realize that there was. That's not a loft. That's a crawl space, but above you. Okay. I have my laundry and my fuzzy socks. <laughs> And all my socks, my hats are here. I could not find a dresser that was short enough to fit in this space. So I got these like cube organizers. So all my clothes are in these six cubes that aren't in the closet. Like I can't even roll over. I'm so wide. I would roll over and my fucking shoulders would get stuck on the roof. These four clear drawers are crafting supplies. And then I have one big white crafting sheet that I like to lay in between the two because all my crafting stuff is here. So I can paint here. I can felt here. I can sew here. I can tie dye things. I can whatever I end up doing, bleaching things, whatever. I, I love crafts. Um, so I end up crafting here. A TV is going to go here. I would like to build a bookshelf around the TV like that on both sides. Uh, and put the TV in the middle so I can have all my books up here because I do like reading up here because I don't have power right now. I have my candle here and a little lantern. This one's actually really cool. Check that out. Pretty handy. Crafting drawers, portable battery because this is where I charge my phone at night. I have my iPad here because um, I watch shows sometimes at night. My earrings that should not be here. Another battery. I don't know if we can show that one on YouTube. And... Yeah, and here's my view. There's my truck down there. What was that? But pretty sweet. That's my extension. That's where my extension cord is because it rains. Bro, she she stays strapped, dude. You can't catch her slipping. What the fuck? I mean, that's Texas. Got the blicky. That's yeah. She just keeps that thing close, dude. What the fuck? Yo. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's not even Texas that's living in the middle of nowhere, to be fair. Yeah, that unironically, one of the only instances where it is so valid to have a gun. Okay, if you live on a fucking major property like that, like with barely a fucking zip code on your house. I mean, with, with no with no fucking letterbox on your house, with no driveway up to your house. Like, yeah. Woman alone living in the middle of nowhere with stalkers. Yeah, I understand her having it. Yeah. Hassan, you horny motherfucker. How? How is this in any meaningful capacity? What? You saw a gun and you went, okay, I'm just banning him. We got to ban him. Also taking on the angry, one of her angry birds if they turn on her. I'm honestly confused. Do we like Maya now? I thought she was canceled. Did I miss something? I mean, I've always liked Maya. I even said during the entire saga that she did a wrong thing and that she fucked up, which she immediately took ownership for, and that, uh, and that like good people can otherwise do bad things. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like Maya. You can cancel me too if you want. If one of those ferrets step out of line, she got the blicky, dude. I'd be more worried that the fucking ferret would be able to learn how to operate that gun, okay? Honestly, I feel like those shits are so smart. They're going to accidentally use their little fucking fingies on that thing and just, like, pull it. Yeah, you wouldn't fit. Can confirm. What the fuck is this? Is this a refrigerator with nipples on it? Did you just put nipples on a fridge and said... I don't think... I don't think reading the Quran could save you at this point. I don't think saying the Shahada, okay, and submitting yourself to the light of Allah and Muhammad, his prophet, is going to save you, okay?
Peace be upon him. But I don't know if you will ever experience peace. And you can't have it get wet. And then my view from this side's even nicer. Pretty sweet. And cozy. Hooray! And here's my friends. They live here too. Oh, baby Stompy. When she was tiny. <laughs> Amazing. All my books are still in that drawer boxed up. Oh, I also have stars on the ceiling. Check that out. <laughs> Bro, Texas is so funny. They'll be like, look at my view. It's amazing. And then you look at the view and it's just shit. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> Yo, I love my view, guys. Look at my view. And it's like Texas. Just shit. Just like dirt, piss, shit, and the ugliest trees you've ever seen, okay? <laughs> Even the trees are barely hanging on. They're like, fuck, man. I didn't ask for this fucking spawn point. <laughs> this is unironically a good view for Texas because you can't see a single fucking parking lot, okay? <laughs> That's good. This is like the best view in Texas because there is no parking lot in the immediate vicinity. However, having said that, it's still shit. True, but LA is a literal parking lot? Yeah, dude, I would never say LA has good views. Are you fucking kidding me? LA is disgusting. But California, on the other hand, oh my God. In Cal California is a state where you can literally hit the fucking ocean, hit the beaches, hit the desert, and then go up to a fucking mountaintop and see snow in a matter, in a span of like four hours, okay? It is literally everything. You can't say that for the Pacific Northwest. The Pacific Northwest can be very beautiful. Same with Los, like not Los Angeles, but like California in general is awesome. Like for sure. I'm not even a fan, but I, I recognize that. Like I, I'm not a fan of the, of the whole like nature thing. I'm not a big fan of nature as you guys know famously. Here's my friends. They live here too. Oh, baby Stompy. When she was tiny. <laughs> Amazing. All my books are still in that drawer boxed up. Oh, I also have stars on the ceiling. Check that out. How sick is that? I'll have to record at night. Well, I don't know if it'll do it justice, but they're really cool at night. She put, like she put the Rolls Royce uh, ceiling on it, dude. <laughs> She put the Rolls Royce ceiling on her on her uh, little loft. You're sleeping under the stars. It's really cozy. A view of the loft. Cozy. That is pretty much it, guys. Uh, in case you're wondering, here, let me show you. In case you're wondering, no, I can't stand in this loft. I can kneel though. It's this tall. Um, so it's kind of annoying to have to go all the way back to the end, but for the most part, I just go this far. Um, and then I walk on my knees and I just walk like this to get out of it. That's crazy. But I, I, dude, I couldn't even, I'm telling you, that's not even high enough for me to crawl on. I would not be able to, I would have to like crawl. I would not be able to roll on there. That's wild. That's way too low, dude. That's the loft. It's like a slumber party every night. But yeah, I think that's it. Stuff in my cabinets, cooking stuff, you know. The ferrets get to be out as, as much as possible because they like it. Anyway, that's the tiny house. It's like staying in a really, really nice tent right now because it's not hooked up to anything, but it's so beautiful and I love it and it's so cozy and it's all I need. It's a dream. We're thriving. Thanks for watching. This is my. Just ask for an this is funny. I found them on uh, No, the soilet. Oh, yeah. No, I just threw a, a glass bottle in the trash. <laughs> this is my favorite type of parasocial uh, Twitch watcher. This girl is biting way more than she can chew. While I support and appreciate what she's doing, I can only imagine the cost of maintaining Alvius. She's relying on Twitch and fundraisers way too much. I don't think it's sustainable. How do you think conservations operate, dude? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, 
you're you're describing every like you're you're describing literally just like you're saying that like 501c3s can't work my man said it has to profit like it just it can't be a non-profit entity okay he just <laughs> this chatter destroyed every 501c3 with one simple trick Oh, is there a specific legal designation that makes you a non-taxable entity that exclusively relies on donations from, you know, charitable donations to keep afloat? Well, guess what? Bet you didn't think about profit. I don't know if you know this, but it's called charity, man. Oh, no, I didn't mean it that. Mercy, my lord. I didn't mean it that way. Probably could have worded it better. Sorry. You're literally describing charity, dude. Of course. And as far as like... Charities goes, hers has like a, a non-ending, a never-ending fundraiser mechanism built into it. So I would go so far as to say that it is literally better than most other charities. 